Easter Island's Moai, the multi-ton statues, some measuring more than 20 meters in length and weighing more than 75 tons, were carved out of the island's quarry of volcanic tuff and then transported, some of them several miles over the island's rugged terrain. These statues were then placed on impressive platforms called Ahu. And this whole business of giant statues and platforms really cries out for an explanation. Although some believe extraterrestrials move the Moai, scientists have more earthbound theories. Norwegian Thor Heyerdahl led a team to drag a 13-foot, 10-ton Moai on a tree trunk. <sighs> William Malloy used a desktop model to postulate the use of an inverted wooden V. but oral tradition says the statues walked. Czech engineer Pavel Pavel worked with Heyerdahl to move a statue with a twisting motion. Charles Love stood his Moai upright on a sledge over rollers. Hmm. But stories of the walking statues persisted. So Terry Hunt and Carl Lippo tried a new approach. They said three small groups could have walked to Moai, two to rock the statue forward and one from behind to stabilize it. In 2011, 18 people walked a 10-foot statue using this technique. While no one theory has proven the mode of locomotion, it's a new look at what may have happened centuries ago.